Hello everyone, welcome to a slightly early Danganronpa tea stream, like by a few minutes, really, that's, that's all. Um, started early because, like, I was ready. Wow, I get a lot of follower notifications around this time. Quite a few people. Yep. That's insane. Yeah. So, had everything set up, so I figured, let me just go live earlier. Um, I'm a little tired, and I have work to do after the stream, so... This might not be a very long stream. Uh, when I say it might not be very long, I mean it might not be two hours, but it'll probably be at least an hour and a half. So yeah, last time we were uncovering some early mysteries of chapter... Uh, not chapter 2, island 2, the second island. Um, because that unlocked, and we totally, definitely unlocked a, an extra scene with, um, Mahu and Kyoko. We definitely did that all on our own. We did that successfully, 100%, did not watch a YouTube video or anything. Um, so today it's free time, and also what I would qualify as looking after our pet. We're not touching the magical miracle girl Monomi, at least not today. I don't really have any plans to do that. Uh, we might go hunting for some monokumas. You know, who knows? It's just gonna be a relaxed time. I was even gonna put just like, basically chill stream in the the title, the stream title, but I figured, eh, eh, it's a little tacky. So yeah, I don't know where anyone is. Is that, uh, oh, there's Peko. You know, I wouldn't mind talking to Peko a bit. But the thing is that I, um, before anything else, want to go pick up some more presents. I think that would be prudent. Since we're running a little bit low, and um, there's like one that I want to see if I can buy instantly. So yeah. It's not been a bad day, I would say, but um, definitely a tiring one. I just finished reading like, well, I had to read portions of a lot of um, mathemat uh, mathematics articles in order to understand basically one paper, just like the abstract of that paper, or the purpose of that paper. Um, so that took quite a while and drained my brain. So I'm a little tired after that, brain fatigued. But it's fine, we'll be good. Oh uh, yeah, we can buy the toy camera, so let's uh, just go ahead and buy that. Cool. Hey Flo, how are you? Just bought the toy camera. So this is the replica sword that we were supposed to buy. My and man's nut. I wonder, are all of these uh, extra scene items? Yeah. Um, tissue. Tissue and a man's nut. Great. I keep saying a man's nut. It's just man's nut. Still don't know what it is. I don't know, I didn't understand anything that really happened that contextualized that scene that we unlocked. Unlocked. Um, it just doesn't make any sense. Should I just grab some of these? I don't know. The, I definitely want some sunflower seeds. For show. Oh, jeez. That's not good news at all. Uh everything's all right oh wow that's um not good at all if that situation de-escalates it's different schools Now that's a uh, ah, that's a uh, oh, what a what a sharp turn in the tone of conversation in chat. That's a bit awkward. Ooh, ah, that's um. Oh yeah, school being held up by a gunman. Man's not highlighted. Crazy. It's a bit awkward for me. I've 
siblings in schools. Yeah. Technically, you could say I'm in a school. Are any of these also for... So, another replica sword was supposed to unlock another scene. Man's Nut was. So, do these other ones also? Okay. Well, yeah, I hope those... Those factors uh, calm down, for sure, Flo. Oh. Anyway, we'll, tr we'll try to... We'll try, it's fine. Barbers. I mean, I know that when you come into a stream, you can't see the messages that came before um, when you joined. Uh... Uh, yeah, so wait, so should I... Should I get any of these others? I have enough for like another one. Which one should I go towards? Also, I'm sure Pekka would like the replica sword regardless. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, the stream shows, but I mean, who reads the stream for chat? It's mostly for VOD reasons, and in case like a message gets lost or something. Also, helps me check like the delay. It helps you guys check the delay. Um. I feel like Pekka would like the replica sword. And I don't mind talking to Pekka, that's for sure. Summer festival tree. Uh, sure, that's what that sprite is. I say so. Um, Bachelor Taro. Okay, this is a toy. I have no idea what this is. Really? How did that happen? We're in the second chapter. Oh well. So they really do expect you to pick one and roll with it, really. Okay. Uh, then what else can we buy? So I got the sunflower seeds. I think that's a good one. Um, anything else that I think would be good for who I want to talk to? I'll get some baguettes. That sounds nice. Like, like baguettes. Mineral water is always a pretty safe bet, I think. Get ramen here. Yeah, it's fine. Let's not do that today. It's gonna be a more relaxed stream, I think. And then we'll, uh... Why not? Let's go to the Monokuma Gacha. It should be not too far this way. What's my pet doing? Barbers, how are you doing, by the way? Oh, my hook meter's gone up. That's nice. I was explaining earlier that I'm just a bit tired uh, after reading a bunch of scholarly articles that I didn't understand. Oh, you're so wrong. Oh boy. It's all confusing. Hey! It's uh, two girls that I like and one that Barbus doesn't. Um, if that's the case, I want to know if I should buy any items before I head into the gacha. But I'm glad to hear you're good, Barbus. Okay, so should I grab them? I should grab one, hey. There's one I can grab. So, in your opinion, which one should I grab then? I'll try to guess which ones correlate to which characters. Um, wow, this walk cycle is cursed. It really is. Uh... Ooh, my brain's a little bit slow at the moment. Oh, and I knocked the desk. Um, let me let me make my guesses and then I'll then I'll tell you. Well, we'll ask you which ones they are. Roman Coke later. What is Roman Coke? Is that an alcoholic drink? Uh, so you said summer festival tree and the battler taro. I feel like. Nakumaru or Akane would like the battler. And for the summer festival tree... Sonia? I don't know. Oh, it's rum and coke. Wow, that's a little on the nose. <laughs> Cuba Libre. Rum and coke, rum and coke. That's a... I wonder how I got that name. Is that good? I know some people say, like, drinking coke with... Alcohol is like great, but I don't even drink coke in the first place. 
So yeah, I'm gonna guess Summer Festival Tree is like Sonia. I can't think of anyone else who it could be. Maybe, uh, maybe it's Yoko. Rum and rum is better. <laughs> rum and raisin is probably the best, in my opinion. I'm out of tea. That's good tea, though. So, so who are they actually for? And I'll decide, and um, based on that, I'll decide which one I want to buy. Jack and Coke? Wow. So many alcoholic variations of these things. People really look at everyday objects and say, let's add alcohol. Why not? And then drink it. I still have never been drunk. It's not because I'm not of age. Uh, legal drinking age here is 18. And for my 18th birthday, I actually got a bottle of uh, champagne and I didn't drink it. Because I don't want to be drunk. It's for... Oh, wow. I was right. I got it exactly right. I can't Nekamaru. First of all, she's a girly scene. Not new, though. It's not man's nut. Right, right, right. The baby face. <laughs> so... Hmm. I'm not sure which one I want, then. Which one do I want? Let's see. I wouldn't mind either, really. Um... Okay, my logic... Is... This would be cooler. There we go. Yeah, that's it. That's my logic. If we happen to run into more coins, I can get the other one as well. Um, and I can do that by finding more hidden monokumas. So that's an option. We're going to talk to Gundam today. Maybe. I'm not sure. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna stop myself from going to the gacha machine. I think it's fine. I think we've got everything that we need. Got it. Um. Let's see, am I gonna free time right now? Let me try to find one in Monokuma. Did they reset all around the island? I might as well do a quick sweep of the first island, I guess. I'm just looking for them. I'll do like a sweep of the island. If I don't find it, I'm moving on. On the ranch. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Nope, don't see any hidden monocombs here. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, that bottle of champagne. It kind of went to waste. I think my uh, mom uh, eventually drank it. I hope she did. I hope it didn't just go to waste. My friend was very nice uh, for buying it for me. It's just a shame I don't drink. And I don't really intend to ever. I just don't like the idea of messing with my brain. It's one of like my anxieties, serious anxieties. The same reason I won't do uh, drugs recreationally. Even um, cannabis is totally legal here if you grow it yourself. Um, or if you buy it from a licensed tender, but yeah, still haven't been tempted. It is an expensive vice. Well, I mean, you can also get really cheap alcohol, as far as I know. You never have emotions for the same reason. You don't like messing with your brain. Fair enough. It makes yeah, chemicals in the brain it works, but you know, at least I'm vaguely in control of that. I don't know what will happen if I get drunk. I'm fine being labeled a scaredy cat for it. I've made my peace with it. It's also I can justify it by saying like there's a lot of recorded work that has come out of people who have had alcohol in their life and um, done recreational drugs. And because I'm, I do identify as a writer, I don't have bombs with calling myself a writer. I wonder if he's in here. Nagito, can we see Nagito? Um, you know, I want to see if I can contribute to a sober catalog of work and see if how it compares. I shouldn't go inside. Okay. Let's see how it compares to the standard. New the unlocked areas. Okay, cool. Just double checking. Nagito is tied up beyond this point, but I don't want to see him right now. I'm not mentally prepared for it. I shouldn't go inside. Okay. Um... Just want to check. It's. I'll. I'll just check around here. I know that they 
they probably are in the new areas. But I wouldn't put it past the game. Eh, eh, you know. It's more logical to check them first, at least. So I'll go... I'll go over to the second island. But yeah, basically when I've been at parties, I've used both excuses. Almost interchangeably, so I think, um... I reckon they're both valid, but it started from a place of anxiety. My apprehension towards drinking. I don't know why I'm going into this. It's really boring. Um, yeah. It's really awkward because I generally can't relate to, like, stories about, um, getting drunk or getting high. But what's, I, what I find more inconvenient is that I have a harder time writing about it fic in fiction. When I have to, <laughs> when I have to write a character that, um, has those, uh, tendencies. It's, uh, Ibiki. I wouldn't mind talking to Ibiki during free time. But, when I'm trying to write a character with those tendencies, I, I have to, like, ask or base it on second-hand accounts as well. So I'm beside <laughs> drunk at the time of my life, uh, having my survivor slain by an abomination. That was a lot of words that I don't understand. Also, now we know where Gundam is, so that's cool. Yeah, that lighting effect is quite interesting as well. I don't see the Monokuma around here. I wonder how hard uh, it is to find them. It can be very difficult to be estranged from what feels like a large amount of humanity. It's a feeling I'm generally um, associated with, I'm uh, familiar with, in some ways. There's one. Here's a here's a slightly. Um, huh? I've been found. Here's a slightly heavy bit of a commentary. Uh, growing up, a middle class white English speaking person in South Africa, you do feel like you're disconnected a bit from what's happening around you and the plights of those nearby. Oh, you're right, you're right. That must be interesting. The relation, uh, your relationship with food. Should I check the drugstore? Because I mean, like going to lunch and stuff. You know, you wouldn't be eating. Okay, well, it's quite obvious why Mikan would be here. I wouldn't mind talking to Mikan either. You know, I generally don't mind most of the cost of this game. I find myself being interested in like all of them, whereas that wasn't really the case in the first game. It's a bit of, <laughs> just thinking about like sp people with specific diets in general. If you go out to like um, a meeting that involves eating usually, but you don't like order much, like if you just get water, fasting for example or something like that then like when the bill comes around you kind of have to be like I didn't eat anything right is that the what's the social etiquette there do you still um take some of the money because what what usually happens when I go out is that we analyze the receipt and we say you got what you pay for your stuff and then you include your own tip you know so if you only go out and drink water with your mates then are you gonna have the cheapest bill? I don't know why it makes sense. I wonder why people are so happy to see each other in a rather vulnerable state. Oh, there's Hyoko. Hmm. Oh yeah, we found one here already, so probably wouldn't be another one. I think that's everywhere, except for inside the ancient ruins, which might be where the last one is. Oh, that's interesting. 
Bit of other ring there as well. Sorry, English brain. Like, uh, sorry, literary analysis brain. Kicked in for a second there. So who are we gonna talk to, I wonder? Um... It is weird how, well, I mean, I find it quite strange how people generally feel very uncomfortable eating around other people. Um, I think I want to talk to Gundam. And the reason I think that is because if I'm around people that I know very well, my etiquette kind of falls apart a little bit. Um, especially since when I'm around people I really know, I'll generally have more to say better stuff to say, funnier stuff to say. Um, and sometimes my brain short circuits to wanting to talk before realizing that there is still food in my mouth. So that's a bit of a bad habit of mine. So sometimes I'll try to get a comment in while there's still food in my mouth. And often that ends up uh, me almost choking. This body is uncooperative. But when I'm around people in a more formal setting or if I'm less familiar with them then I'll generally just eat with better etiquette and then I don't feel embarrassed about it and so I don't really I don't really know what people feel self-conscious about I think we all have our own shortcomings when it comes to eating we all have in some way zzz, um, we all have some ways that we could improve our table manners anyway and you speak as Gundam now I'm on the borderline of developing a relationship with a human, you say. <laughs> <laughs> you make me laugh. I'm the supreme overlord of ice. Everything about me... <clears throat> I'm still finding it, sorry. Everything about me is different from humans. My thought process, my principles, my existence, my foundation. Everything! What should I do? Can I even hang out with someone like Gundam? Yeah. We've done it before, let's do it again. I still want to figure out a way to take my Hope Fragment away from Hyoko. You want to get closer to me? <laughs> Such a meaningless act. Is it possible to get the skills from those that die on Chapter 1? I don't know. <laughs> That's not a question for someone who hasn't finished the game, is it? You should already be aware of it. The fear you feel toward an existence you can't possibly understand. Continue talking as if we were on two separate wavelengths until it was time to leave. Looks like Gundam and I grew closer today. Would you like to give Gundam a present? Definitely. That's why I bought some sunflower seeds. He seems to like feeding those to his hamsters, and they're very cheap. Sixty-five <laughs> percent. I haven't seen it. Great work, my servant. Unless you mean like um, <laughs> um, unless you mean like with chapter select. If you go like chapter select, does that count? Do you maintain all your assets from diving back into chapters? Because then you can just dive into chapter one free time and um infinite if you carry over all your assets. It is said five valuable assets exist in the world. You have my gratitude for discovering one of them. <laughs> Thank you! You fiend. Hold it. If you come any closer... I know, I know. I won't get close to you. This, too, must be the will of causality. It appears that you finally noticed the blood that flows within me. There's a fearsome curse. Oh, I see. Ah, that makes sense. Of course I do. Oh, of course it does. How pitiful. Ever since I was young, this body of mine was exposed to many poisons that it became poisonous itself. If a mere human like you ever touched me, you will immediately decompose and wither away. You want to pet the fatty one so bad? Yeah. Thus. I've been trying to make sure you don't get too close to me. Does that mean you've been thinking of me? <laughs> but are you like thinking of me though? <laughs> Why? That was so out of character for Hajime. Anyway. <laughs> don't get ahead of yourself. Even if you're just a foolish human, I'm not so cruel as to yearn for a meaningless death. 
Hmm. Can I assume that he's blushing? I don't know, can you? He says his blood is poison. What would be the advantage of that? Silence. It's not an issue of gains and losses. I became like this because I had to. I have to be like this even if I don't want to be. I've been putting poison in my body ever since I was young. Sounds somewhat plausible. Could it be you're getting ready to poison someone? Your mom's an awful cook. You enjoy poison. <laughs> wow, none of these seem obvious. You enjoy poison is pretty funny though. Your mom's an awful cook. Um, was your mother's cooking bad? Yeah. Crap, I was only joking, but it sounds like that was exactly it. Impossible. Oh, <laughs> that's actually my reaction. You wouldn't understand how much pain I had to endure. Plus, that woman would cry if I didn't finish my plate. What choice did I have but to suffer in silence? Don't you feel better now that you've talked about it? Do you know... Hajime... Uh, not Hajime. I was just reading the word Hajime. Um, Gundam reminds me of a character in Ace Attorney that I don't want to spoil that comes up in the second trilogy. I mean, you're actually a really kind guy. It was close. Anyway, now that you... Understand. Great job, game. You know, I've been considering doing freelance copy editing. Just throwing it out there. You shouldn't come any closer to me. Now that if you ever know that if you ever touch me, it would mean death for you. But that's really lonesome. Hey Gundam, can I ask you something? Uh, if you have the fortitude to ask me that. I didn't even say anything yet. Um, um, when you were in grade school, did you ever hold hands with any of the other kids? Did any of you guys do that? Just casually? I don't recall. It's obvious now, but at the time I was faking my condition. <laughs> By moving next to the teacher who served me, I was able to avoid questions and survive without any problems. Never made contact with a human? You and I both know that isn't true. Did you ever have to do a folk dance? Dance? Impossible! You don't understand. That is a ceremony for summoning evil deities. I had to pop something in my jaw. Because, I mean, everyone has made contact with their parents. I don't want to get into it too much for my underage viewers. Um, no, that made it sound much worse than what I meant. Oh boy. Why do I stream when I'm tired? Why do I do these things? But you've all been held by your parents, you know? It's a classic paradox. I can't never have made contact with a human. That's like how Doofenshmirtz said his parents didn't show up for his birth. Fortunately, the school nurse was in the same tribe as me, so I was able to leave without getting involved. I see. It would have been bad of me to point out something so unnecessary. I don't know what to say to him anymore. So then, what kind of people are okay to get close to you? Anyone whose power matches my own. Oh. <laughs> no, there's no way such a being exists. You should just forget about that. For your sake. Always mysterious. With those words, Gundam walked away. He seemed very lonely. What was he going to say? If he just told me, maybe I could have done something about it. If I had, maybe he wouldn't have shouted nonsense at me. Got a new part of the report card. After seeing Gundam walk away, I returned to my room. Oh, you know what? I should check what skills I can buy. Now that I understand the mechanics of the trial a little bit better. There probably are still some that I haven't seen, but hey. Never take advices. <laughs> Sorry. Never take advice from a stranger on the internet. Yeah. That is a bit of a paradox, isn't it? A little bit. You know, I, I was reminded of a, the liar's paradox today uh, during an English lecture, which is that if someone says, I'm lying, uh, if they're a liar, then... Oh, wow. Where do I begin? I was conceived via a glint in my father's eye. My fetus grew in a bubble, which was shot out of my mother at birth. I've worn full body armor since emerging from the womb. Okay, well, I stand corrected. 
the liar's paradox is, um, if a liar says, I'm lying, then they're telling the truth, i.e. not lying, but then, in telling the truth, then the state, the content of the statement, which is that they are lying, becomes false. Uh, so there's your paradox. Yeah. It's still bright out. It's not like I feel like staying here and doing nothing. Maybe I should try going somewhere. Also, for anyone who doesn't know, the free game on Epic this week is Amogus. Oh yeah, I just said I would uh, talk to Usami, to uh, Monami. How am I still calling her Usami? How many weeks are we into this playthrough? Maybe only two. I've lost count. That's the wrong button. Look at that. Almost, almost S rank, you know? Uh, so what do these actually do? A tentative influence. Slightly increases the influence gauge. Effective during the class trial. Cannot be combined with envious influence. Nah. I don't think I need that. Slightly increases the focus gauge. Effective during the class trial. Cannot be combined with menacing force. Focus. Lost in thought. Slightly increases the time limit for each phase. I don't know if that's going to be any better in this... I have run out of time once on one choice. But I don't think that'll be that useful. Charisma. Increases influence gauge recovery when correct answers are chosen, effective when making choices or selecting a truth bullet. Hmm. It's not terrible, but I don't think I need a downshift. It reduces your aiming speed, effective during the non-stop debate and the improved hangman's gambit. Upshift. Increases your aiming speed. I want this. Thank you. Trigger happy havoc. Decreases delay between firing truth bullets. Increases delay between firing truth bullets. Effective during the non-stop debate in the rebuttal showdown. Decreases delay between firing truth bullets. Does that mean that when I shoot it, it will come out faster? Algorithm. Increases the speed of memorizing a statement. Oh, okay. Neural liberation. Focus gauge decreases at a slower rate during concentration and fever time. Effective during the non-stop debate. This is a good one. I'd say that's a good one. Delusion. The influence gauge recovers over time during concentration and focus. Uh, sorry, during concentration and fever time. Oh, that's interesting. Effective during the non-stop debate, the hangman's gambit, and the panic talk action. That is still word garbage. Um. Okay, so basically, whenever I use my focus gauge, my influence gauge will recover. Yeah, it's not bad. Increases damage to the opponent when a statement is destroyed. It's all right. Vocabulary. Increases bullet capacity. Okay. Oh, but reloading hasn't been introduced yet. Oh. Ah, that might be useful. Ambidextrousness. Allows you to lock onto two statements at once. This is good. I still don't know how to actually do that stuff correctly. Mood maker. Easier to shift mood to your favor. Uh, I hardly understand rebuttal showdown. Sharpness increases by two. Excellent blade, fine sword. Sharpness increases by five. So this is just better. Clock up. Increases max speed. Effective during logic dive. Have, we haven't done logic dive, have we? Maneuver. Increases turning power. Logic dive. Moonsault. Increases jumping power. Logic dive. Logic dive sounds so whimsical. I have no idea what to expect. Um, there's no point in me stocking up uh, these crystals, hey? I might take neural liberation. What does it do again? Uh, slower rate. Eh, it's alright. It's not bad, that's for sure. Uh, vocabulary is interesting. I might aim for vocabulary and neural liberation. I like the sound of that. Let's go with that. Although, if Trigger Happy does what I think it does, then that's really a lot better. I think I might take this one. Just know that Logic Dive is 10 out of 10, if you say so. How's everyone doing, by the way? Um, is the stream going a bit slowly, do you think? I could try to play through the game a little bit more, but this is meant to be quite a relaxed stream today. I, I don't have the mental capacity for really using my brain. Um, now I feel like I've just been waffling. Uh, neural liberation or Trigger Happy Havoc is what I'm looking at for now. I said Havoc again. That was not intentional. Yeah, we did just look for Monokumas. 
That's true. Um, I'll try it. If it does what I think it does, then I'm happy. And then we'll just uh, get another hope crystal now. And start saving up for some other skills. Uh, everyone's moved around. I see. Should we S rank Gundam? Or should we work on someone else? I want to see what happens when we S rank someone, so let's go S rank Gundam. I'm using S rank, that's not even the game's um, odd, uh, vocabulary for it. Oh yeah. You know, I'm also not a fan of just skipping over text <laughs> when someone has gone through all the effort of writing it. I wonder why the guy who studies English likes reading. It's a bizarre. It really is. But yeah, I just want to check that um, I'm not boring anyone. Where are we? Did I go back to the... No, I'm on the right island. Okay, cool. Um, I didn't check where anyone was. That's, uh, that's a mistake. Okay, there's Akane and uh, Makiru. Oh, there's Gundam. Okay. Uh, where is this? It's the diner. And Kazuichi. Gundam and Kazuichi. Soda. Is his dad called Soda Pop? I'm not breaking eye contact until I see a little W in chat. I don't think I broke eye contact there, just pretend I didn't. I can vaguely see what's happening in the game. No, no. <laughs> I have to break eye contact. I'm starting to strain my eyes a little bit. And maybe if I had done that for long enough, you guys would have figured out that I don't blink. What? I see. So you're the pursuer he sent. What should I do? Can I even hang out with someone like Gundam? Of course we can! Oh, so you're going to be defiant, or do you intend to betray him? <laughs> Depending on the information you possess, I don't mind making you one of my subordinates. Is it Sasuke time? I don't know what he's talking about. I was forced to listen to Gundam talk about a ridiculous battle in the netherworld for territory and influence. Looks like Gundam and I grew closer today. <laughs> Looks like it. Yeah. I still have seeds. Still have one extra seed. Him from Super Power Buff, of course. Oh, yeah. Surely I never expected a mere human such as you to possess such a legendary treasure. Regardless, you will not be able to control it. It was wise of you to hand it over to me. <laughs> it was sunflower seeds, bro. I will gladly use it. Hmm. He doesn't seem like his usual self. Why do you... Why do you keep following me? In truth, there's no way I'd ever associate with someone like you. Impossible! But still, why do you continue to hound me? Does this mean my absolute mental defenses are wearing off? I don't know what you think this is, but we're friends who are working together to escape. What? Gah! But what the? He ceased up all of a sudden. I won't let you! So settle down, my wicked arm! Are you a Kotodama user? You wish to manipulate me with false words and cheap tricks, don't you? I'm not trying to manipulate you at all. In fact, you're the one who said I'm just a mere human with no special abilities whatsoever. It's also a running threat in the game that we don't know what our talent is. Ooh. You wouldn't understand. I'm in isolation for a reason. There will never be a day when you understand why I became who I am. I'll destroy you! I'm the offspring of an angel and a devil. A cursed being sh a cursed being shunned and rejected by everything in this world. Once I lose the only thing I love, I'm destined to spend my last days being devoured alive by demon beasts. It's quite my good. name is Gundam Tanaka! Truly, I am mankind's natural foe. Evil incarnate, a walking cataclysm, a shapeless insanity, Gundam Tanaka! Sounds like his normal self, but there's definitely something different about him. 
There might be a kernel of truth hidden in the words he just spoke. It feels like either his mother or his father was not great and left him as a child. It's true, I don't know anything about what drove you to this point. But I definitely believe that you're my friend. If I didn't think that, I wouldn't be able to go on. That's it. It's the only reason. As long as you're my friend, I have no desire to take anything away from you and try to force you to change. That's a good attitude towards this friendship. This too must be the will of causality. It seems that I completely misread you. I never expected a human like you to contain a singularity. Have I been promoted from a mere human? You asked me the other day what sort of existence would be capable of touching me. So you have a peer. Oh boy. It's, it's a different smirts all over again. The answer to that is the singularity. A being who can make the impossible possible by overcoming various limitations. Huh? Am I really that amazing? You fiend. Is this his way of uh, complimenting us? I like it. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. A simple creature like you does not have that much power. I have not unleashed even half of my power. Friend. Oh. However, I can lend you my powers as long as you yearn for them. Then I'll leave this to you. What? <laughs> for you to say that so easily. Fine. Well. Who cares? Lend me your hand. I stuck out my hand like he told me to do. After some hesitation, Gundam slowly gripped my hand. There you go. His hand felt like a normal person's hand, and I definitely didn't wither away and die. My hands are very cold. People always tell me that. With this, the contract is complete. So it's perfect I will for the. Not allow you to die without my permission. I didn't realize that that wasn't a generic voice line, so I'm sorry I interrupted it. But I was like, so it's appropriate that the Overlord, the Overlord of Ice, Gundam Tanaka, would uh, react pretty normally to my cold hands. But yeah, he said something cool there. I already wanted to say that to him too, but he'll definitely yell at me if I do. Instead, I gripped Gundam's hand so tightly that it started hurting. Yeah. <laughs> Someone became a battle of endurance, but I felt a strong bond between Gundam and me. This became a uh, boy's life of despair again. Which reminds me, it's been a long time since I felt so happy being acknowledged by someone. Wow, that's quite sad. Overlord's Vassal is what we got as an achievement. Gundam's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. Just unlock the skill Infinity Unlimited Flame. Give yourself a pat on the back, you've earned it. Obtained a present. You have obtained a present. Gundam's... Un... Oh. Um. Huh. Gundam's... Under Gundam's. You can check it from the present menu. Ha! Huh. That did... That, um... That, that didn't go the way I expected. I did max friendship with one person. Um. In the last game, I maxed friendship with Hina. All I got was a scene. I didn't get their un I didn't get her underwear. Gundam spent all day teaching me to use that ability. By the time I returned to my room, I was exhausted. Should we look at it quickly? Presents. We're gonna be all the way down. Three star badge. Gundam's undergarments. Gundam's favorite invisible underwear. You cannot tell if it's really there or not. Apparently, humans with low astral vision cannot see it. You got Celeste's underwear? Pog? I only got... I didn't get anything for Hina. I don't recall at least. Maybe I did. No, uh, I don't know. I don't think I did. <laughs> Basically kind of... <laughs> no, that's not how I wanted to read it. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Uh, oh well. Ding dong, ding dong. 
that's not what that's not the interpretation I wanted. Upspeak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It's night time. Emergency. Emergency. Oh, never mind. Students, head over to Jabberwock Park as fast as you can. Well, I wasn't expecting a story Come this stream. On, hurry up. Whoever gets there first, I'll treat you to my special made curry rice tomorrow night. Damn, that sounds nice. Come on, hurry the f up. <laughs> I just remembered a, a line from a book I'm reading at the moment, which is Mort by Terry Pratchett. Just reminded me why, um, what is it time? What do you mean is it time? What does that mean? But uh, it reminds me why I find Terry Pratchett so entertaining. Great book so far. Uh, but there's a line in it where a specific character says, I could murder a curry. It's great. Might have bad time for us. Oh, boy. Oh. Wait, what, what did I say? Curry rice, huh? It's like, I haven't eaten that in a while. Wait, who'd actually fall for that? Oh, well, I think I just did. I don't know what he's planning this time around. There's no way I can ignore it. Jabberwock Park again, huh? Well, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna run and place it on my pedophiles. Who we at? <laughs> 115 steps. I can do that. Oh, hey, Mikon. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm such a slowpoke. I'll head over to the park right away. Um. Oh, uh, I, I think I forgot the important part where the person you said that was death. Uh, but I'm not being slow on purpose. I tried to leave my cottage as soon as I heard the announcement. <laughs> I tripped. Again. <laughs> I must get a lot of hate for making excuses like this. People are probably thinking, eh, if you have time for that, then hurry up. That girl, she tripped again. She's seriously so pitiful. Yeah, it was death who said... I could murder a curry, which is, uh, it's really fun in context. Yeah. I really ruined that joke, didn't I? Just erase that from your memory, and then read the book that I was talking about. It's a good read. Probably quite cheap as well. To pick up. Not exactly the latest book. How many steps was that? Oh! It's about... 40? Yeah, it's about 40 steps, so we'll just do a few more laps of the pool. Now, how to ruin a joke 101. Leave out the important context for the punchline, give the punchline, and then explain the context uh, and say that people should have laughed at the punchline. There you go. <laughs> that is what I've just done. You know, it's really ironic. That I was thinking about possibly doing a stand-up stream someday. And, um, this happens. <laughs> are we playing until someone gets game-ended? No, 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 no. Um, we are, at the moment, playing until I get my pet to the next level. To evolve. There we go. Oh? Oh, what? My snake's leaving. He wants to give you something. Oh god! A hundred mono coins, a ramune, and a coconut juice? Well, goodbye, snake Kimmy. Now there's an egg. What's in the egg? I'm getting free steps in. I'm getting my uh, 10,000 steps in. Oh, I would hear that all the time. Back to square one. I'm fine with that. Damn it! Ah, uh, why'd I have to listen to that announcement? If only I didn't listen to it, then I wouldn't have to respond to that annoying summons. Oh, really? Fully raised? Hmm. That's impossible. Those speakers are set up throughout the island, you know? I don't need that an excuse like I wasn't paying attention when I work on Monokuma. Hey! Why are you scaring me? Ah, damn, uh, damn it. I don't wanna- I don't wanna go. So he wanted someone to back him up so he could step forward. I sort of understand how he feels. I wonder what will happen if I... Uh, give the pet full hope. You know, we'll probably get it walking to Jabberwock Park. I reckon we might. Do 
Do people really not pay attention to the pet thing at all? I love simple micromanagement. Something I can wrap my brain around. I don't have to think about optimizing it too much. How many steps was that? Okay, yeah, we're definitely gonna get it before we get to Jabberwock Park. At this rate. I kinda miss Snake Emmy already. Lost a little bit. There we go. That's not the button. Yay. Let's give a present. Uh, what are we gonna give? Let's give a Romine. Also, I hate all animals. <laughs> That's a lie. That's a lie if I've ever heard one. Flo is impostering. She probably said that while having a squirrel in her lap. Is this the foster way? <laughs> you love telling lies in my Twitch chat. Kinda noticed. If we talk about characters' deaths ever, it's just all lies. Hey, freedom of speech, I guess. Oh, what's that? It's an arcade machine. Yahoo! Yahoo! I'm the first one here. The cover's all mine. She totally took the bait. Uh. Also, I understand why she would be the first one here, considering the incentive. Indeed, I wonder what kind of curry it is. You too? One mana. Ooh, on the slightly spicy chicken curry right now. Hey, hey! It's slightly spicy to heat things up. It's quite cold. What's the scientific term for when you get hungry after you hear the word uh, curry? Being hungry? I don't know. What are you saying? Oh, gosh, that's so stupid. I get worked up over something so idiotic. Is here? Yes, what, the arcade machine? Hey, where the hell is Monokuma? Get out here! Thank you for waiting. Okie dokie. Thanks for waiting. Thanks for the miracle of waiting. Hey, Monokuma! I was the first one here. That means I got dibs on the curry. What are you gonna do? No need to rush, no need to rush. You'll get it when you- Decade machine? This is not going to be good. You'll get it when you get your school memories back. I'll probably treat you to my special main Monokuma curry tomorrow night. Uh, Monokuma curry? What? It's an extremely delicious curry made from unknown meat, wilted vegetables, and Serious brand of rice! Oh man. Hey. I can't imagine anything delicious based on those ingredients. <laughs> no worries! It takes skill to make curry nasty. Good no, it instinct. doesn't. That is truly a nice line, but it is meaningless. You fiend. Now, Monokuma, let us hear what your business is. However, you should know I, the Supreme Overlord, have very little time to spare, understand? Go by four dark devas of destruction! If this is something foolish, know that I will feed your remains to these beasts. Wah wah? Huh? Huh? You haven't noticed yet? The reason why I summoned you guys, if you look closely at this park, you should be able to notice it! Huh? What's that thing? So why is the Yakuza boy so far away? What's this thing? Arcade machine. What is this? It's an arcade machine. Uh, isn't this an arcade machine? Correct! Oh, that's correct! Thank you for waiting! So, I would like the long way to recreation time to begin! Don't tell me you're going to tell us to play this game. <laughs> hey, what's the game? What games are on this? Is it Donkey Kong? Dangan Rampa Twilight is all I see. She's totally into it. She's breathing really fast. Hmm. I've only prepared one game, but it's truly a jam. Yeah. After all, it's a game that I personally created. Huh? You did? Then. Monokuma is a programmer? Confirmed? Then it is not something I could possibly look forward to playing. What the heck? No, no, don't compare it to those amateur fan service games. What, like this one? You know that famous game that everyone's been waiting for a sequel to? Well, I made a brand new game instead! Wow. Wow, calling out all developers. 
famous game. I shall now Dungeon Romper 2, Twilight Syndrome, Twilight Syndrome Forbidden Urban Legend. What that says. I shall present. Murder Case. The name of the game is Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. What is this a reference to? Oh, wow. I didn't realize that this wasn't just like the screen or something. There he is. There's a giant TV screen, him presenting this thing. Okay, wow. What the heck? That's pretty lame. Now that sounds sick. I love detective games. Investigation edition. I want to play games about riddle solving professors or collecting cute monsters. Haha, <laughs> it's a Professor Layton and uh, Pokemon. Or, um, I guess you could say Yokai Watch or any monster um, collection game. But uh, riddle solving professors is very Professor Layton. Stupid! Don't say such silly things. What if we get weighed down by all the quarters? That was a line. Twilight Syndrome is an adventure game series. The first one was released in 1996. It's about a group of high school girls who go exploring in order to purify numerous urban legends. The player controls the character like a side scroller. Meaningless. I have no interest in weak things like video games. Ugh. Wow. Calling out every player. Everyone's getting offended this stream. And I don't even know what generation of game that old is. You. With your face, I find that hard to believe. What do you mean? Boring! But adventure games are boring and tedious to play, right? Isn't this an adventure game? This is an adventure game. This is kind of Don't diss adventure games. Besides, there's a lot of reasons to make one. No, no! You know, like budgetary reasons! Oh. Man, I was a big fan of the series. I don't know why, but I feel like you've totally tainted the series. What are you saying? Shouldn't you be tainting your face with tears of gratitude? I've cast a spotlight on a neglected title! Oh. Oh, picked up by Spike. Oh wow, and they put it to good use, didn't they? And what's the point of this game? Were they any good? Hmm? I mean, it's not like you're telling us to play it just to enjoy it, right? You want us to get like sucked in, Yu-Gi-Oh style? Yugi. Grandpa stuck in the TV. Oh, you have no idea. Maybe we'll play those on the stream someday. Oh, you totally noticed the good part. That's right. This game is gonna be your next motive. What do you mean? The motive you need to kill people. What do you mean? After all, I'm gonna get bored if the next Blacken doesn't show up soon. What do you mean? It be? This game is the motive? Actually, in truth, this game's theme is a missing link. You know, it's a recurring theme for mysteries, right? It's kind of like a hidden connection. Um, well, what does that mean? Here! If you're interested, then try playing it! Dumbass! This game is one of my least favorite motives. I think I'm gonna say it's my least favorite one, but there's another that's pretty bad too. Okay, well, I mean, our motives even, I, I literally forget the motives as soon as they come up, so. Uh, okay. Hey. You can't, you gotta say no, it's a trap. Hey, Hey. that's the motive. Wouldn't it be okay if we just don't play it? Yeah, ha ha, that's absolutely right. You're quite the genius. No, he absolutely isn't. But you guys are becoming fast friends, aren't you? I see. That never occurred to me. Are you sure? Are you sure you want to do that? Hey, I'm Learning the motive means you're going to be prepared, you know. It also means you have a motive. Humans who are prepared, humans who aren't. I don't have to tell you which is strong and which is weak, right? You. What do you mean? <laughs> For example, if someone secretly played it, that person might come and kill you. Watch out! In the context of a preemptive strike, that's truly fatal. Hey, hey! What, what do you mean? <laughs> you guys are all enemies, you know? Is it really alright for your enemy to have an advantage? If you're going to just ignore it, then do whatever you like! Even if you're fully aware. Even if you're fully aware of the situation. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! What the heck? This is bad. Hey, 
What should we do? But... I even if you ask me, there's no way I'll know. Anyway... Anyway, it would be dangerous to carelessly touch this game. There is no mistaking that. You are right. Y you are right. It might be better if we wait and see how this plays out. But... But wouldn't it be bad if someone secretly played the game while we're waiting? Whoever gets the motive would become the hunter and the rest of us would be the prey. Listen, banana girl. Listen. <sighs> Worst girl. That's a messed up way to think about it. What are you saying? But it's true. <laughs> it's your loss if you end up dying. All we need to do is kill if we want to win. I don't want to end up like Byakuya or Teru Teru. You're like really not on course to become like Byakuya, but you, I mean you're kind of there. You're like in the arc. After a few Hiko spat those words, we watched him turn and walk away. But... As I walk away, don't look back in anger. I heard you say, but, but Yuhiko makes a good point. Huh? You two? What are you saying? Do you really want to kill someone that badly? Cause, cause... It's not like that. I mean, how can you be cautious if you don't even know the motive? Hmm. Not always going to be a good day for the Mekon voice. That, that might be true, but... Nope. It doesn't matter. Huh? Motive or otherwise, it doesn't matter. I won't let another killing happen. Is Chiaki becoming the real protagonist again? Killing. I will never, I'll never allow ever it. let another killing happen. Chiaki's getting cooler and cooler. Ding dong, bing bong. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It's night time. It is now 10 p.m. Night time. Day time. Please return to your rooms. Night time. Let the sound Day time. gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Indeed. We should all be in bed by now. Huh? Looking at you, chat. It's already that time, huh? It's better if we just break for today. Hmm. Try to think about it tonight more carefully. The correct thing for me to do. But... But regardless, I will never kill anyone. I mean, it's impossible. I really hope Mahiru doesn't. Um, me too. It's definitely impossible. I, I really do think that with your frail arms, you could not kill someone. For now. Then we should turn in for the day. I'll see you all tomorrow. And you know what time it is. It's the jam. Burned by uneasy thoughts, we all went back to our respective cottages. But still. That was totally unexpected. I can't believe she actually said something like that so forcefully. I will never, ever let another killing happen. She's probably cheating with all this in her own way, but. Sleepy. Uh, I feel sleepy. I should go back to. <laughs> then I bounced off. <laughs> Is, do we, do people prefer Chiaki to Kyoko? Just wondering. Motive to kill someone, huh? It's doing nothing at all, correct? Just trying to stop it from happening while being aware of the danger, correct? Why don't we, oh wait, we can't destroy property. I was gonna say, let's just destroy it, the, the game. There's no way I'd understand something like that. Are we gonna get another free time session? I don't know. In this messed up world, there's no way I can know what's right. It's Monokuma Theater. You don't know how tough it is to be successful. I'm so jealous of people who aren't successful and don't have anything. The biggest obstacle to challenging new things is definitely your past successes. It's actually kind of deep. Those always hold me back all the time. I'm so jealous of people who don't have anything. People with no expectations sure are happy. Opinion acceptability scale. Interesting. So it's just uh, a normal preference. I mean, they can do anything they want without worry about anything. Man, being successful is tough. Okay, Monokuma. I do think people are deluded more easily into 
um, having expectations, um, unhealthy expectations for themselves uh, by succeeding in the past. And also, you know, learning from failure is important. I'm not going to say more than that. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Yes, it's morning. Good morning, everyone. Indeed. Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. Cool. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. What's an all today? I should go to the restaurant for now. No, no free time yet. As if by habit I left my cottage and just so happened to bump into a certain someone. Huh? This is like right next to us, isn't he? Ah! Hmm. Oh, it's you, Fuhiko. <laughs> How unlucky. I have to see your face this morning. Hey, bastard! Just so you know, I don't want to talk to you at all. I'm in a really bad mood right now. It's not like you're going to the restaurant now, right? Are you planning to go somewhere else? Shut up! Like I said, I don't want to talk to you. I'm just going back to my cottage. Leave me alone. So you're going back. Did you go somewhere? It's got nothing to hey, do with didn't you. I tell you I don't want to talk? Is that is it that game? What? What do you mean? So it's true. What do you have in your hand? Hey, what's that envelope? What's inside? Sh shut up! What makes you think you have any right to question me? Uh, I'm not trying to question you. I was just... Are you saying you don't like the fact I acted on my own without consulting you guys? Is there something wrong with that, huh? Are you gonna tie me up like Nagito? Seriously, I didn't mean- Dumbass! Don't talk to me ever again! If you do, I'll swear I'll- ah! Gamer rage. That guy, he's gonna be dangerous if we leave him alone. I feel like he's meant to be more intimidating than I make him. I should let everyone know, but I should be careful not to make too much trouble. Backwards walking. Wait, hold on. Yeah. I had to orient myself for a second there. Gundam Tanaka! Oh yeah, I want to see what that skill does. Also checking on my pet. Um, why don't I give you a present? Let's go for... Oh, I got a coconut juice. A cordless? A colorless, not cordless. <laughs> you just want to kiss him? Oh, what a sweetie, that for you, Hiko. The sweet taste is considered refreshing by many. Uh, I know that Soda would like that. Why don't I give another ramen, eh? To my pet. Or I could give the toy camera to my pet. Or a moon rock. Why not a moon rock? I got this kind of randomly. I definitely didn't go through all my presents in the last playthrough. I could try giving Gundam's undergarments. Here's nothing. Enjoy your nothing, pet. <laughs> it is courtless. <laughs> um, no, I'll just go with Robin here. Oh, wait. Actually, yeah, one of these, why not? <laughs> this is new, but I didn't actually... I, I mean, I already use it. Dried beef sprinkled with chocolate chips. Preserved meat product invented by an experimental cook. There's no guarantee this will actually taste good. Fair enough. This thin loaf of bread is stuffed to the brim with butter and crushed codro. A perfect fusion of French and Japanese cuisine. It actually does sound really good. Anyway. What's up, Gundam? This the wind is very quiet. I do hope it is not an ominous portent. Yeah. Me neither, man. I, I hate those, um... Those ominous portents. I feel like I'm getting wrinkles in my face. Or at least like permanent lines. Not a great thing for someone my age. Well? Apparently Mikan has never played video games before. <laughs> She's totally missing out on 90% of her life. Well, you know, values vary from person to person. Are we doing the story right now? Oh, okay. Hajime! Hajime, please listen to me. What? Oh. Chiaki told me how to play a video game. She was so nice and attentive. And attentive. Not attentive. Attentive. And and she even battled against me. It was Beyblade. 
<laughs> I'm so, so happy. I was able to play with a friend. <laughs> thank you very much, Jackie. You think so? You don't have to thank me that much. I had a lot of fun too. You sound like hey, it. Hey. If you like, do you want to battle one more time? <laughs> yes, yes, please. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Mikon would get followers way faster than I would. Uh, than I do, rather. Mikon looks extremely happy. I guess Shaki has a sweet side too. I, has, uh, she said she wouldn't let anyone die. I think that's a little bit sweet. A little bit. But I'm glad I ran into that exchange. Hey, Mahiru. Ah, ah, nice timing. I've been waiting for anybody to come by at a time like this. Waiting, huh? Hey. Ah, I see. I like Kyoko. I haven't really got to know Chiaki much at all. I think maybe I'll start befriending Chiaki next. I know there are a lot of people I want to befriend in this game with the hope fragments and stuff. More inspired to do that than in the last game. Um, I was thinking about delivering this. Is this someone's oh, it's Nagito's. Is this someone's breakfast? Ah, is that for Nagito? <laughs> I mean, if we just leave him all tied up, he's gonna starve. Mm. Like, how long have they planned to continue this? Well, there's no way we can keep him tied up forever. Aww. Yeah, that's what I thought at first, but maybe it's better if we, he was tied up forever. Hmm? What does that mean? I actually went to see Nagito earlier. I kindly brought him breakfast. Jeez. And then, listen to this, he seriously pisses me off. Do you understand? He said he doesn't like rice, so he wanted toast instead. Doesn't he understand the situation he's in right now? So that's why you're running back and forth. That must be hard for you. Really? Hard? Do you really think so? Hey, hey. Then bring this to Nagito on my behalf. Oh yeah, that's true. I mean, that's fair. I do, I do like her as like, um... Just coolness. She's cool. Jeez. I was forced to run back and forth too many times. I'm done being his maid. Not only that. Oh, I say. And not only that, I just remember that I have a little business to take care of. Business? Thank is everyone you. taking turns on the game? Oh, is that why uh is that why Mikon wanted to learn how to play games? So thank you. I'll leave the rest to you. I really pushed the train to my hands and ran away before I could object. Oh, jeez, it's always something. As I recall, he's tied up at the old building where the murder took place, right? Is that what it's called now? The old building where the murder took place? I know the old building where the murder took place. I mean, if Nagito died, he would bat an eye. As far as we know, his parents and sister are dead. I mean, what? Uh, oh, hey, guys, Uichi. What's up? Uh, man, it's so unlike me to sleep in. Oh, what's with that tray? Are you going to eat somewhere with a nice view? Hey, hey. The building where the murder took place might not necessarily be useful description by the end of the game. <laughs> yeah. Hey, don't tell me. Hey. You're not going to have a picnic lunch with Miss Sonia, are you? It's not even lunchtime. This is breakfast for Nagito. Well. Uh, oh, I see. Sorry to trouble you with taking care of him. If you really mean that, want to switch with me? Hmm. Well, that's obviously a little, uh... Awkward. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll let you handle it, Hajime. He, he told you right away. Oh yeah, that um, game builder garage that's coming to Switch, that looks cool. No, 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 this whole building is being renovated. You can't go inside. I'm not allowed inside. Why is Nagito inside? Oh, what? what, what? You know about it too, Hajime? Because um, Nakamura and Kazuichi earnestly told me that Monami is the only one we can rely on. And it's true that Nagito needs to reflect on his actions. I'm here to deliver food to Nagito. It counts as murder if he ends up starving to death, right? S starve? Ha 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 It's okay to go inside then? Hida! Yeah, yes! Make sure you tell him to chew thoroughly before he swallows. Well, if he's tied up, then, you know, hopefully his neck isn't too bound together. Bound, of course not. Just bound. Not bound together. So Nagito is tied up at the back. Instinctively, I got back my dried saliva. Dried? So, ah, huh? Why am I so nervous? Pushing aside my nervous tension, I vigorously opened the door to the dining hall. There I saw it. A sociopath. A psychopath, actually. As I quietly peeked through the door, I saw him on the other side. He was waiting for me with a big smile on his face. How friendly. Oh, gross. When you say tied up, I didn't think you meant with chains. Uh, could it be... 
Did you take time out of your busy day to bring some food to little old me? I want to run away from him. <laughs> wow, I'm so happy. Uh. He's a phantom. As you can see, I can't exactly greet you with my full hospitality, but feel free to relax. He's a phantom. Penny phantom. Yo, Denny Penny, he was just 14 when his parents built a very strange machine designed to view a world unseen. Gotta catch him all because he's Denny Phantom. Sorry. <laughs> his white hair. No, that was my, that was the joke. He had snow white hair, blue and green eyes. He could walk through walls, disappear, and fly. It's much more unique than the other guys. It was the same as usual. Unlike his smile, his words carried a certain heaviness. As if a black poison was falling from his mouth every time he spoke, filling his surroundings with darkness. An illusion, but one I couldn't help feeling at that moment. Huh? What happened? Your face looks kind of scary. Yeah, you want to talk. I didn't come here to talk to you. I just came to bring you some food. Food. Come on, eat it. Yeah. Oh, uh, you're not going to feed me. I'm gonna kick you in the mouth if you say that again. Just the button for that. Well, I can't eat it on my own, you know. Just get Monomy to do it. My hands are all tight. Monomy to do it. Actually, I was really embarrassed to ask a girl to feed me, so I'm glad you're the one who came. Why? It's just as, just a sexist. Anyway. Oh boy, this is a, this is a, this is a whole thing, isn't it? I get it, friggin' Maharu. It must be why she asked me to go instead of her. Anyway, friggin' Maharu. What happened to Mahiru? Did she leave saying she had some business to take care of? That's exactly what she said. Huh? Why do you know that? That was very dramatic. By the way, I heard about Twilight Syndrome murder case, was it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Twilight Syndrome murder case, was it? He's been talking to Hajime so much. I have mixed feelings. I mean, talking to Nagito. I really like that game a lot. Oh, but you're sad that they rebooted it? D don't change the subject. I'm asking you. Oh, well, I'm a little disappointed. It's not like you ultimates to ignore the threat that's standing right in front of you. <sighs> He's more like the ultimate catalyst at so this are point. Are you really planning not to play the game? Do you think Monokuma will just let that slide? Yeah. Well, that is. I mean, someone has to eat his curry, right? You guys should confront it. After all. Has everyone spoken to Nagito and then being convinced to go and play the game? Is that what's happened? I don't mind talking over Nagito. I'm sorry. If you want to hear Bri Bryce Pappenbrook's voice, Google anime dub and it'll, it'll come up. I'm sure. I'm convinced. It almost sounds reasonable. Agony aunt. <laughs> it's causing me agony, that's for sure. Running away from your problems isn't a solution. I'm just putting it off. But... I don't want to be tricked by you anymore. Bye now. Uh, hey, Hajime. No, no, no. Wasn't planning on that. Planning to feed me? No, no, no. Stick your face into it and... There you go. Hey! That's what Hajime. you do. You just stick your face into it and that's what you do. Feed me, Hajime. <laughs> Damn it, I barely talked to him and I'm already not feeling so well. But I really can't stop thinking about it. Is it really okay to leave that game alone? While I'm doing nothing about it, someone else is. No, nothing good can come from thinking about it. There's something else I need to do. <laughs> Actually, no, that's fine. That's a normal position to lie in, especially when you're sleeping on your side. It's actually slightly better for your back, I think, to sleep on your side than to lie on your back. Who are we talking to? We maxed out uh, Gundam's whole thing. I didn't look at the skill that we got from that either. Um, report card. That's it. Monomy and... Where's the new one? Should be at the end, right? No? Okay. Oh, do I just have it now? What is it called? I don't know. <laughs> he was stood on his head. He's on hard floor with his hand uh, tied to his back. Um... 
I mean, yeah, no, that's still manageable, being on the hard floor. Yeah, it was something like that, but I didn't see it on the on the thing, so I guess we don't have to buy it. Was it just unlocked, and we'll get it before before the trial starts? Yeah, I assume that's what it is. All right, who are we going to take on next? Chiaki seems good. Ibiki seems good. Mahiru seems good. Honestly, I wouldn't mind Mikan. Um. <laughs> Uh, not a huge fan of um, Nikimaru at the moment. I think basically anyone except the, the dead people and Hyoko. I guess Nikimaru. Oh no! Anyway. It sucks to be him, right? Uh, where is everyone? They'll also play into. Oh, Pekko's around. Uh, Jackie's in the gamer room. Do I have anything for anyone in particular? There's a Kane. Nagito. Oh, I guess we can free time uh, Nagito now. Uh, the soda. I could talk to soda, I guess. Ibiki. I don't really know what I have for anyone else. Gundam's around still. I don't really want to... Well, I mean, it would be a bit of a waste to talk to him again. Um, what presents do I have? Oh, yeah. I got like a hundred coins, didn't I? For raising my pet up. Why don't I go cash some of those in? like a good idea. Oh, backwards. There we go. So that game seems interesting. I kind of want to play a lot of old adventure games, especially um, the Blade, some like particular ones are the Blade Runner game, um, Discworld Noir, What is it called? Grim Fandango. That's what I want to play. In case Martian's killer. What a bizarre reason. Um, yeah, I can purchase the other item. Uh, the Summer Festival. I guess we could get some more stuff. Tips and Tips Second Edition. I could get this for Chiaki. Yeah, sure. Let me do that. I don't know who would want jewelry. How'd I get going? I'll just buy that for Chiaki. Oh boy. Ugh. So do we have like, besides Flo's um, love of Gundam, any definitive... Uh... Oh yeah, we could get a bunch of cheap kits for the pet pets. Good thinking, thank you Flo. So besides Flo's love of Gundam, uh, does anyone else have a favorite on the game? Like a definitive favorite? Yeah, let me purchase some more sunflower seeds. Those seem nice and cheap. We'll do ram. Oh yeah, that's, a <laughs> that's Red Bull. But I'm Potato chips. Uh, I'll get sunflower seeds that are cheap and easy to replace. And uh, maybe something... Well, you know, let's hit up the um, Monokuma gacha because we'll get more diversity, I guess. It's not like we've um, been absolutely screwed over by the repeat system before. <coughs> really like Hajime. Well, I mean, he's not annoying me nearly as much as Makoto did. In fact, he hasn't really said much that annoys me except for that non-canon non moment. It didn't really happen, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's a good cost. Uh, don't care much for Nekomaru, but he compliments Akane pretty well. And I think vice versa on that. Akane's like, kind of funny with the whole food thing, I guess. Let's give it a shot. Um... Oh yeah, I hate Hyoko. That's true. Uh, let me just put one coin in for now. Ooh, that looks nice. Is that, uh, flavored ice? Really? Sonia, Ibuki, and Nekomaru. Interesting. 
I wouldn't take you as a Sonya lover. VHS. Camera. Let's do one more. Oh, let's go to 70. G. G Wiz. Is the G for gamer? I don't know what that is. I should probably get going. What did I? You have to love the royals. <laughs> Cultural obligation. A sweet bun bag. Filled with a variety of sweet breads, including melon and peanut butter flavors. The bag has the logo of Hansel and Gretel. If you say so. Viva Ice. The strawberry flavored shaved ice treat comes with a spoon containing lottery numbers. If the number wins, you receive more shaved ice. It's a vicious cycle. Spectre Ring. It says it's G. It has a G on it. A blonde earthling was wearing this ring when he was swept into a... When he was swept into our world from a distant galaxy. A very icy, lame joke is sealed within the ring. Spectre Ring. That's so much to digest. A thick book that has hints and codes for every game ever released. The second edition now includes tips for clearing even the most difficult levels of must-have for any true gaming fanatic. Every game ever released? That's insane! And now we have two toy cameras. A cheaply made camera, and due to its poor quality, its photos are sometimes out of focus or of weird coloration. Oddly enough, that has actually made it more popular. Earth Ring, G stands for ground. Every game ever released, though. <laughs> I could use that. Another battle. The first in a series of Yakuza films, it became popular for being a Yakuza film that had no battle scenes in it whatsoever. It's called Another Battle? I wonder if uh, if you, Hiko, would like um, uh, a Yakuza film that has no battles in it. We got the tree, which is what? The debut single. Oh, it's a single of the boy band Black Cherry. This song became a huge hit due to its rhythmic beat and catchy lyrics about summer. Rhythmic beat? That's very tautological. A manga about a boy named Taro who fights using RC cars. Children across Japan cried when Taro said this line in the final chapter. Adults will never understand. A goal is still a goal, even if it's a reverse run. <laughs> what? Yeah, adults will never understand that. Wooden stick. Oh, I forgot I had this. A wooden stick monomy found on the island that gives you the courage to fight. This unlocks monomy mode, which is even more fun than the actual game. Oh, uh, that's a hot take, apparently. And the three-star badge. Uh, what does it actually say? Prove that you cleared chapter one a memento of Territory Hanamura. It's filled with the boastings and pride that have made Countess Gorm Gormans roar with ecstasy. Gormans? I don't know. <laughs> I love rhythmic beats and musical song by artistic musicians on the CD disc. Yeah. Same though. Uh, let's talk to Chiaki. How's my pet doing? There we go. It's hard to imagine a world without a pet. But if you can help it, then... Pet. I shouldn't come up with songs. I'll never be a musician. Fun story, in an alternate timeline I studied music instead of what I do study. I was watching a Gordon Ramsay documentary. Apparently a French chef... Um, French chef game ended himself for losing a... Oh, a game ended himself for losing a mission star back in 2000. That sounds quite rough. Oh boy. Hello, Pekka. Uh, I won't be free-timing you right now. Let's talk to Chiaki. She's so mysterious. And also, I have a gamer guide. Welcome to Game Theory! Mm. Yeah, Kazuichi's fine. I mean, he's not that bad. I've never seen Monokuma's arcade machine before. Did he also program the hard drive? What should I do? Should I hang out with Chiaki? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, sure. Let's take a break together. Hey, do you play Smash? Who's your main? I like Roy. <laughs> <laughs> Spent time today relaxing with Chiaki. I was kidding, I like Mewtwo. Looks like Chiaki and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Chiaki a present? Definitely. What would you like to give her? The Gamer Book. Ready Player One. There it is. 
<gasps> Hachime, you seem to be holding something pretty nice. Thanks. Thank you. No one has ever given me such an awesome present before. You can buy them in the supermarket. They're super cheap. She's staring off into space again, as usual. Sorry. Ah, uh, sorry, I was getting a little sleep. Oh, they were standing? Impressive. I wonder why everyone likes Chiaki. Relatable. You're not been sleeping well? Mm. When I'm gaming, I tend to forget about sleep. Sometimes I even forget to breathe. I... Honestly, I cannot relate. I, I'm such a fake gamer. Okay, no, that's not true. I have actually spent, like, late nights gaming before. But it's not something I generally engage in as much as the typical gamer, I'd say. So it is better than Fuyuhiko? Not against you so far. Chiaki mains Donkey Kong, and I, after every kill, she does the tournament where Donkey Kong shrugs and looks at the camera, and then she pauses and then zooms in on Donkey Kong's face. I mean, the... That one. Sometimes I even forget to breathe. Guys, take care of yourselves. Are you a gamer? Name every game released between 2000 and 2010. <sighs> no idea where to begin on that one. Spectrobes Origins. Okay, wait. Spectrobes. Spectrobes Beyond the Portal. Spectrobes Origins. Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Pokemon Platinum. I think that Heart Gold and Soul Silver 2010. Jackie's the ultimate game and she knows it. She does so much BM. What's BM? It's not good. Plus, I keep having nightmares. I had a bad dream the other day, so I've been a little scared. Can I ask what kind of dream you had? Well, it was a dream about Trio the Punch. Huh? Um. The statue at Jabberwock Island changed into a bald man with a thin mustache. Probably because that game also takes place on the tropical island. <laughs> bad manners, trying to annoy people you beat. Oh, I don't know that. Maybe. Who knows? I hope she doesn't say the gamer word. You know the gamer word? The more I think about it, the more this situation feels like that bizarre action game. Dragon Grandpa. You might eventually end up turning into sheep. Sure, the punch is a game, right? What kind of game is it? More importantly, you must really enjoy games, huh, Shiaki? Mm. Nah, they're okay. What do you think? They're okay. I just dedicated my life to it for no reason. Mm, how should I put it? I like it, but gaming is my life. Maybe life is just a game. For you, that is true. Either way, that's all the more reason why killing shouldn't be allowed. Unless you teabag someone, it's okay to be a toxic player. What? 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 I would say teabagging is okay, but it's not okay to be a toxic player. I would say the opposite of that. Teabagging is kind of funny. Because it's like, it's a meme at this point. It's been a meme for a long time. No one takes actual offense to that. A cold take. Now I think that makes it a really hot take. Uh, I feel like Toxic is just being a bad sport. Let's boil it down to that. Ruining the game for people because you're not enjoying it. Yeah, that's what I would call toxic. And also just being generally bigoted, I guess, online. But that ties into that ties into it, I think. It's not a game if you're not having fun. It doesn't mean anything if you just focus on winning or losing. Hey Reggie! Hey Reggie Fizeme! So Reggie Fizeme, guys! Feeding the other team and spamming GB. Yeah, that's pretty toxic. You're right. Doesn't mean games always have to have happy endings, but you should get something out of beating them. There might be weird games here and there, but there are ways of enjoying those too. That's why bizarre games are fun. You can beat them as long as you do your very best. <laughs> as expected of the ultimate gamer, I would probably just give up on a game like that. Um. But to tell you the truth, there's one type of game that I'm not pretty good at. I see, what is it? Um, let me guess. Let's guess what genre she's not good at. Mm. 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 Spelling games. 
when it says spelling games. I see, what is it? I won't tell you. Ah, I see. D does she have a reason for not telling me? Well, just by talking to Chucky, I feel like I was able to understand her a little better. So I guess that's good enough for now. Hey! That was fun. Did we only get one hope uh, fragment? Yeah. I mean, the, the, the reason it might be hard to understand, like, um, hot take in terms of internet slang is that it gets misused, well, it gets used ironically so much, and that's what ends up happening to languages, that words get used ironically so often that that becomes their meaning instead. So, like, um, actually happened to the word egregious. It used to mean something great, but then people was like, oh, yeah, that was egregious. Um, so they would use it ironically so much that it came to mean terrible, because that's how everyone was using it. And I feel like that's going to happen to Hot Take as well. Um, I part ways with Shaki and went back to my room. It's still light outside, there's still plenty of time left. Maybe I should try going somewhere, or I should spend time with someone. We have another free time. Okay, well, let's complete all the free times. Yeah, maybe should we diversify our free timing? I kind of want to know what Chiaki's bad game is. How's my pet doing though? Maybe she's not good at monster catchers. Where is everyone? Uh, there's Nekimaru. Not really feeling like Nekimaru right now. Uh, let me check my map. Uh, Chucky is still there. Easiest character to find, honestly. Yeah. I was tempted to know about, um... About... Chucky's, uh... Gaming difficulties, but it's fine for now. We'll find out eventually. Well, let me figure out who I want to talk to then. Ah, oh, I have a spare camera. I could give that to Mahiru, I think. Where's Mahiru? Not here. Uh, let me just go to the second island. I want to know a little bit more about Mahiru. What games are you all bad at? I can tell you a very long list of games I'm bad at. Most of them. It's most of them. Check the map. Oh, Mahiru's here. She is somewhere around. I'm glad that we got, like, um, a max friendship early on, because, uh, it was quite far into the last playthrough where we got one. So it's nice to see that early on, and then we can, uh, spread out, I guess. I wonder if there are more free times in this. You're not Mahiru. Did it lie to me? Oh, it's Mahiru and Mikon. But then where's Mahiru? see her. Real-time strategy, tower defense, and MOBA. Those all kind of have the same, like, mechanic, mechanical, um, wiring, I guess. So that's, that's understandable. Where you have to kind of make strategic decisions in real time. That is what real-time strategy is. Well done, Josh. Very good. I mean, in any real-time game, I'm, like, frantic. I'm scared, anxious. Where? There you are. I ran right past you, I think. I'm going to take some photos for a change of pace. Really? A change of pace? That's what you do all the time. What should I do? Yeah, let's invite Mahiru to hang out. Are you planning to follow me? Yeah. Well, I guess it's okay. Just make sure you don't get in my way. I hope she likes toy cameras. I'm not generally a huge fan of roguelikes, because they generally skip out on like story which is what I enjoy and then also it feels like you're not really making progress but at the same time it has its advantages like you um you know you you only generally the biggest development is intrinsic so you get really good with your skill uh, it's not that the game has to scale up the difficulty as much you know it's not like um it's not like experience points for the most part where you're basically playing this same game uh, for the most part in most games that have like extrinsic um, 
reward systems extrinsic reward systems or growth systems like uh rpgs or experience you generally have like pretty much the same experience all the way through where you you get stronger you fight enemies that are around your level you overcome them you get stronger and you know yeah cycle continues uh but with roguelikes you know it's all intrinsic you get better at the game and that's what helps you progress but because i'm bad at getting good at games you know i generally don't put in the time to enjoy them spend time with Mahu while she silently snapped photos so i like some easy roguelikes sometimes like uh dicey dungeons looks like Mahu and i grew a little closer and i want to play hades yeah sure let's give her a toy camera so we can say look i'm also a photographer i learned about how to take photos on skillshare you do have a spare one toy camera I have two game. I used to get a lot of flack for being a fake gamer on account of, you know, having... <laughs> yeah. It's really irritating. Uh, and yeah, I mean, hey. Misogyny is, um, not very cool at all. So, but we can't it's what we in the industry like to call a key item. <laughs> what else do we have? Um, what else might she like? I was kind of betting on that. Uh, what's this? No. Yeah, that's really irritating. Um... Why can you get multiple of a key item in the first place? You have no way to dispose of it. Uh, can I give it to my pet? Um, sure. Sweet bun bag. Why not? Yeah, yeah. It's so obvious you're trying to bait me with items and stuff, but I guess I'll take it for now. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, good enough. Hey, I'll take hey. it. Ah, Hajime, stay there, right there. She's not even looking through the viewfinder. Hmm? Say cheese! You're not even looking through the viewfinder. What are you doing? Just kidding. Okay. I'm trying to read what the camera brand is. It looks like Chimera. No, you did. The shadow just went click. I guess Mahiru wanted to take a picture of me. <laughs> so she wasn't just kidding. Well, I guess this is good enough. Yep, that sure is a dumb looking face. Dumb looking face? That's only because you took my picture so suddenly. <laughs> She's the ultimate. She doesn't need a viewfinder. She knows what it looks like when she puts it exactly 20 centimeters from her face. Just so you know, it's not like I want to take a picture of you or anything. Oh, is she that kind of character? I didn't know that. It's pretty every god is listening that that's true. This is just a record. You don't have to go that far. What kind of record? Hmm. Photographic? Idiot. A record is just a record. I want a record that right now we're all living together in this place. We're living together. Yes, Hajime. It's pretty simple, but in this kind of situation, it's easy for us to forget that, you know? Come on! So I decided to make a record of everyone each day so we won't forget. It's pretty much the only thing I can do right now. I see, that's a good idea. And we could make one of those YouTube videos where it's like, uh, I took a picture every day and then get millions of views. I seriously wouldn't have thought to do something like that. I hear he seems like a pretty solid person. Does that define someone as solid? Hmm. But taking pictures of guys isn't fun, so I guess it'll be fine if I only do that once every three days. You're already contradicting what you just said. Well, aren't you commendable? So awesome that your priorities are in check. What? What's going on? What does that mean? I also mm hmm? Aww. Did we just sass? Did we just activate sass? More importantly, we've got this blue sea and white beach, but that weird stuffed animal just ruins it. No matter how beautiful the scenery is, if the subject's face doesn't stand out. Hey. Ah, I know. If you ever see Monokuma again, capture him. You can take pictures of Monami just fine, but he sees what I'm trying to do every time. One day I'll definitely capture him with my viewfinder, and I'll be world famous for landing such a huge scoop. <laughs> you don't even use your viewfinder though. Well then, I'm busy, so I guess I'll see you later. After controlling so much of the conversation, Mahiru suddenly changed the subject and walk walked away. Was she angry or something? Did I say something weird? I mean, you sassed her. This is bad, I have no idea what's going on. Mahiru's a report card has been updated based on your experience with her. I should return to my room at once. <laughs> at once. Is that where we're ending it off for today?
We'll do story tomorrow. It seems like a good place to end off. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Yes. It is now 10 p.m. Cool. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Okay. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. You too. On any other night, I'd probably just go to sleep. But I can't stop thinking about that game. <laughs> I need to get my game. It's not like I believe what Nagito said. It's just not a good idea to leave it alone. While it's in your murder case, huh? I should give it a try, just a little, just to see how it is. We'll save that for next time. Pet, how are you? There we go, got your poop. A poopity scoop, a scoobity poop. And then we'll return to the main menu and we'll have some nice plot tomorrow. Nah, that's, this is a good place to end off, I think. We'll do some more plot tomorrow. Thank you to everyone who joined me for today. I hope you had a good time. I hope you have a good day. And hopefully I'll see some of you tomorrow. I did save. I always save. Trust me. Trust me. I always save. Always. Yeah, always save. Yes. I know. I know I save. I save. It's it's a it's a whole it's a whole Routine. But don't worry about it. I do appreciate the reminders. If only they came before I saved. Or, uh, yeah, before they, before I saved. It's fine. It's fine. Just shows you're trying to pay attention and help me along, you know? I don't take it as like a troll or anything like that. Uh, anyway, so thank you again to everyone who showed up today. Hope you had a good time. And hopefully I'll see some of you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. And that's about it. Goodbye.